Hey everyone, this is Curb Knight, and today we are finally bringing you the third place Blackmire deck list from BCS Houston. So, obviously my teammate Joshua, who is here with me, uh, managed to get third place in Houston uh, by pure skill. True. Clearly. Pure, pure skill. True. <laughs> Just <laughs> say blue OT and you win games. <laughs> Alright, so enough messing around. Let's get into the deck. All right, so of course, starting off with the ride line, we are just playing the basic Blagdemeyer ride line, um, whatever his name is, Hollow Raptor. Uh, when he's ridden over, check top three, put all grade one or graders into the soul, and then the rest goes to the bot, and if you put is it two or more, you get to draw a card. Mm -hmm. I mean, reading this card for the first time, even though I've cast how many Blag <laughs> games? Um, and then, of course, Bacon Fan does pretty much the same thing, um, but you shuffle the deck instead. Do you also have to put- yeah, you also have to put two of my cards. Damn, what the fuck is up with this ride line? Oh, uh, this ride line sucks ass, by the way. <laughs> if you whiff on the ride line, you feel so bad. So many times, I check top three. Oh, is that free triggers? I guess I do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and of course we have big boy Blag. Let me go ahead and focus there. Very edgy. Yeah, very edgy. Uh, so when it just attacks, you should, hopefully you guys already know what Blagmire does, but in case you don't, it's just buying two or more, and then you draw. You may draw a card. Mm -hmm, that's uh, important. Yeah, and then um, if you bound four or more, your opponent chooses two, and they bind them, and then you get 5k for every two face down. And of course, the more important part, that divine skill, beginning of the guard step, you can... If you have eight or more cards in the bind zone, you get to basically make it so your opponent cannot use Sentinels for the rest of this turn. And you also nullify all of your opponent's um, abilities. Yeah, this goes pretty bullshit, I will admit. Sometimes you just activate it and you're just like, damn, I just die here. Especially if you hit OT. True, <laughs> blue OT is always the answer. Yeah, so if you basically if you hit OT, you kind of just win the game because you can't PG anything. All right, let's head straight into the main deck. So obviously, of course, just maxing out on those Persona Rides, playing the three copies there. And continuing on with the Grade Threes, we do actually have four copies of the Shatter Colossus. So this is just your, um, technically is like a 23k attacker if you do have the four um, face down cards. You give him 10k, but he does go into the soul at the end of that battle. And of course, if he is put into the soul by a card ability, as long as you're on Black Tomorrow, you can actually bind him face down in order to draw a card. Um, so we have actually been seeing some JP lists cutting this, like, almost entirely. Uh, you think it's still good at 4 right now? Uh, personally, I know people replace this card with the Donation, the Dark State's Brand Gate. They put, play that card because they rather, uh, since they play the set order, they at least could check top 2 and put 1 to Soul, and then they have, like, Soul Manipulation. Essentially, they could use their Soul as a toolbox, but I just prefer this card more because not only is he like a pretty good attacker, because like your attackers will probably just be Zamug or this, because you always want to have Bayrock in the back. This is like a 23k attacker, so it's pretty good. And also lets you draw a card, which in many cases you want to like keep getting more cards in your hand so you could live till your divine skill turn. And also a nice thing I like to do is if you get two before your divine skill turn, that's an extra 5k of Blackmire, which does matter sometimes, because the extra 5k is uh, sometimes will determine whether they have enough to guard or not. Another thing I like doing is I like ditching it for right cost, and if they have the Butcher, it feels so nice because I just put this to soul, and essentially it's just a draw one for mm -hmm. basically discarding it. So I personally like this a lot more than the donation. Mm, yeah. All right, so moving on, our last grade three, we are playing just two copies of the Cage of Furious Star. This is the order that you've probably seen in Blagmire uh, since basically it came out. Uh, so you Soul Charge 1, and then you choose Great 3 or less card from your Soul, Call to your and it gets 5k, which is something I always forget about. Uh, if you've ever watched any of my fight videos with Black Demire, I always forget about that 5k. And a lot of people do too. The 5k does matter sometimes, because if you say, let's say, Persona Ride on a turn, if you call, if you use Cage and calls a Moog off it and use a Moog Seal, that's a 30k compared to a 25, which is more than a trigger to guard. So they had to guard with like a trigger or 5k. Also, it's good, because sometimes with Colossus, you soul charge it with the grade one, and then you can't use it anymore because it's still stuck on soul. But with Cage, you could take it out, and it's like an 18k B stick, which is pretty good because either it's asked for a 5k or then it hits for 28, which is basically over trigger. So that's why I really like Cage. It just essentially uses your soul for a lot of things. And I think, like, especially that extra 5k comes in clutch because a lot of the times uh, the extra 5ks can come from an intercept, but obviously in this deck, 
they do have ways of shutting down the intercept, so it forces them to commit a lot more cards from hand. Moving on to the grade twos, we are of course playing the four copies of Vade Rock here. Uh, so Vade Rock is, let's me get a, one that's not high rarity. Um, on place, you may soul charge one, right? No, it's you're mandatory. You have mandatory soul, soul charge, and then you can counterblast one and choose a grade two or less card with a different card name from it and call it to reared. And then if you um, do not have Blag on your Vanguard Circle, it goes back into Soul at the end of the turn. Uh, then of course it does also get plus 10k uh, for each, every four cards face down in your bind zone. So this card literally carries the entire deck. Not only does it provide excellent early game, because sure you don't keep the rear guard you call out, but it's still like, could sometimes make really good columns. Like sometimes you soul in the grade two, the schemer, which essentially if you soul last one, you take out the order. If you call it off of this, you can just soul blast whatever you need and get the order. And then with Vade Rock plus that, you make a 25k, 25K column, which hits over basically a trigger to guard with when you're up against either even an 8k or 10k. So this card's really good. Also helps that it's on your, basically your kill turn, it's a 30k booster, so you can make stupid columns with Zamoog, and like basically on your divine skill turn, you always kill that one turn if you have Bait Rock in the back row, boosted by the set order. Mm -hmm. Alright, so moving on, of course we've got the, one of the primary attackers, that of course being Steam Battler, Seed Raider, oh he's so cool, Zamoog. <laughs> so when he's placed on rear, if you have a Black Vanguard, you can go ahead and CB1, reveal the top three cards, and then you choose any number of them, put it into the soul. And then if you put at least one card, you do get to draw a card. And then of course the more important skill when you attacks, if you have Black Demire as your Vanguard, you can EB3. And as, lo as long as his critical isn't higher than one, you can get 5k and an extra critical until the end of that battle. So this is like the best worst card in the deck because sometimes you play it and you feel really good. You like see Colossus off the counter blast one skill and you get to draw two cards, but sometimes you don't see anything and you like have to put a trigger in soul. Also, it's not like the greatest attacker because on a regular turn it's just 15, which is very easy to guard if they're not if they're even on, if they're not on grade two. And if you don't see Persona Riot, it's just a really bad number because you're swinging for 15. They just guard with 5k. It's pretty easy. So you do play it though because once again it guarantees kills on your divine skill turn. But like, I sometimes feel like it's like very good card in some instances and then like the worst card in deck in other instances. So you just have to deal with it though. Okay, and now moving on, Vade Rock was only one half of the piece of why this deck is actually so good. And of course, the other half of that is combining Vade Rock with the set order package. Um, basically, Dark State's got the boost one, so we have the grade two on place, Soul Blast one, set the set order for Strike for your deck. And if he happens to get chosen by the set order, which chooses something uh, grade two or greater in the back row and gives it boost, um, Basically, you know, it gets another 5k, so you have a 15k booster in here, but the more important thing is obviously using it with the Vade Rock. Like, most of the time, this is like a pretty bad rear guard, but like, you just play it just to get sorted sort out, because once again, in the front row, it's just a 10k, and most of the time, with the set order, you just want to target Vade Rock, because Vade Rock's like, gonna be massive for no reason. It's like a package, it's like a necessary evil, it like, makes the deck way better, but like, whenever you do play it, or you do see it later on, you don't have any set orders, it just feels like a really bad draw. Mm -hmm. But once again, you have to deal with the deck, you know. Yeah. And then I suppose this is probably the most techie part of the deck, the two copies of the Tiss car. Um, I guess this is kind of like our flex slot, isn't it? Yeah, it's our flex slot. If you know about it, it's just like this card, you get an EV free draw card. Uh, I know some lists like play four, but after play testing a lot with Blagmire, I feel like two is just the correct spot because most of the time you want to save enough energy for Zamoog because you always want to have six, because you want to actually swing with some move first for EB free, gain an extra 5k, then when restands, you want to swing again with the extra crit. So, this is typically only used for going second, because I notice in many matchups, you typically, you could use it going first, like it's whatever, like if you do see it, you do see it, you use it, but like this is typically used because most of the time it will be at energy, or EB9, when you ride up to grade three, so if you go down to six, that's perfectly fine, because you'll definitely have enough energy for some move. It's essentially just, like I said, it's just use when you're going second because sometimes you do need the extra card in hand just to live to the divine skill turn. If you have more than if you have more than two, like four, let's say, I feel like if you see too many discard in early game, you're gonna want to discard them and use them for energy. But then once again, you won't have enough energy for the move, which could be really bad because you know the moves your kill, basically your yeah. one of your kill targets. So moving on to our grade one lineup, of course we are maxing out on the 
something alchemist evoke alchemist yes. yeah i can remember card names too so he is basically just a 13k booster and then when he boosts a blackmire he gets another 2k so he becomes a 15k um and then if you have four or more face down cards in your bind zone you can cb1 choose one of your front row regards and stand it so obviously what you do is um since boost and on attack skills activate at the same time you just use black myers on attack skill and then you can go ahead and just proc the evoke alchemists um and then if you do actually have eight cards face down in your bind zone the unit that you stood gets another 15k uh in addition to restanding so something about evoke alchemist i know a lot of people like getting the restand on turn three but like nowadays whenever i play the deck i very rarely use it to get the restand on turn three because most of the time it's simply not worth it you'd rather use the cb for something else so like let's say you have two cb i would much rather use the two cb on like a bait rock and a zoom move then I would rather use on an Evoke Alchemist because the restand isn't really worth it because it's only like a 5k guard in many instances. The one time I would ever really use it, it's like, let's say I'm swinging with like a Zamug and it's hitting for like 15k because it was called off a cage. That would be something I consider. And if I have enough CB for it. But if I have like two CB and I already have a Vader Rock and a Zamug, I would much rather use those two cards because they let me like build like Vader Rock, call something so I commit a no, less card from hand and Zamug could just filter the deck for more, you know, obviously filter deck for more triggers so just something to keep in mind if you use it if you use it but many times i don't often see myself using this on turn free wow that's such an interesting and innovative line of play where did you learn that uh i learned it from drag you enthusiast darren <laughs> shout outs to him he taught me how to play this deck <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, we're playing two copies of the Netherworld Butcher, even though I always call this man Executioner for whatever reason. Uh, but basically, he is very much like the same grade one that Varga has, Rokuse, uh, where he's placed. As long as you're on Blagmire, you basically seal your opponent from intercepting, which like I said is very good because sometimes that 5k actually does matter. Uh, and then the other effect is just when it boosts, as long as you're on Blagmire, choose a card from drop and put it into the soul. I think this card's whatever, it's alright. The best thing you can do with this card is, once again, like I said before, if you ditch Colossus for right up and then you boost with this, you just put the Colossus soul, find it and get a draw card. So essentially when it boosts, you just get a draw card, which feels really nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, the intercepts, whatever, because sometimes you just want to swing with Blackmire first, just so you get rid of their rear guard. So the intercept, the intercept locking skill doesn't sometimes matter in some instances, but it's a fine enough card. All right, and so just finishing off with you know our basics. Of course, we got the three PGs plus the Elementaria. Oh, and then my tech, my secret tech. Your secret tech of a card that is very good and very solid. Wow. So surprising. So anyways, for our Regalius piece, um, we are just playing the Twin Cast, a uh, new card from set three. I guess it's not that new anymore, but it's just a Blitz Order. Give something 10K, and then of course you use it from the drop to uh, you remove it, give your Vanguard plus 5K for each one of its grades. Yo, Twin Cast is the GOAT. This is literally the best discard in the deck because like I said before, Tiskar uses energy, but if you discard this for ride up, it could either become a 10k when you're in grade 2 or 15k when you're in grade 3. So it's like basically a free trigger that you basically for no cost. Uh, fellow fellow drag yield enthusiasts, Darren decided not to play this. But like I'm telling you right now, this is the secret sauce. It never would have come up. <laughs> I don't know. Trust this, this card, 15k shield matters. Trust me when I tell you this. Very good card. People should be playing this a lot more in their decks. Trust me when I tell you this. <laughs> All right, moving on into our trigger lineup. Of course, we are just playing the th four Steam Deviate, and then of course, our uh, just eight crit Steam Deviate ever come up? Uh, not nah, actually. It did come up once. Literally in my hand, I literally had like a Vade Rock and this card, and I only got two cards in Soul, so I did need this card to um, basically reach the four. So this card does matter sometimes, so you should definitely, if you do have it, you should definitely play these crits because if you don't have enough for four, then it feels really bad because you don't gain any of the power. Mm -hmm. All right, and then of course for our three, we are just opting to play the front trigger. Um, I mean, you're always in optimal attack patterns where you always get the advantage off of the front. Mm -hmm. Also, um, you tend to draw a lot on the stack with like, Blagmire, it's Rideline, Colossus, Zamook. So like, you'd rather draw into 20k shield than a 10k shield. Also draws deck you out, so you don't like that. Mm -hmm. Deck definitely does have a lot of deck out problems. Of course, we're just playing our four heals, not playing any counter heals. I don't think we probably would, right? 
Nah, not really. Not in this meta. There's like too many different decks. Yeah, it's just not really worth it. And then of course for our OT, the actual MVP of the deck, not Twin Cast. Uh, of course, just playing that blue OT. Okay, so you remember how I said Vayrock was the best deck? Our best card in this deck? That's a lie. This card is the best deck. You check this on the Vine skill turn and they say OT to pass? I'm just like, okay, bet. Check blue <laughs> OT, they're dead. It's over, <laughs> GG. You should have never played this game. Not against me. Everyone knows that I'm a dirty sacker at locals. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna do it for our, for my teammate Joshua's uh, deck profile of the third place BCS Blackmire list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to see things, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. He literally said best deck, corrected himself, and proceeded to say best deck again. And then don't think I didn't hear that voice crack when he said check this card. I heard he said check this card, bro. That's why he said it like, what was it?